Okay, this is a story from Disney's Bedtime Favorites. It's Disney Princess Tangled, Bedtime for Max. It was a beautiful morning in Corona. Everyone was enjoying the day. Everyone, that is, except the captain of the guard, Maximus. Max was hard at work, patrolling the streets for troublemakers and evil doers. Is it me, or does Max look strange? Flynn asked mm -hmm. Rapunzel as they strode through town. Rapunzel studied Max. He had dark circles under his eyes, and his normally neat mane was messy. You're right, she said. He looks like he hasn't slept in weeks. Flynn and Rapunzel. Punzel found Max's second in command and asked him what was wrong with their friend. The captain has been so worried about mm -hmm. doing a good job, the guard said, that he hasn't been sleeping. No matter how many guards we put on duty, he insists he needs to stay on patrol. Rapunzel was worried. Refusing to sleep couldn't be good for Max. You know what this means, she told Flynn with a knowing look. Plan time? asked Flynn. Plan time, Rapunzel agreed. Ooh, he looks crazy. The two went off to figure out their plan. When they returned, they found Max running drills with his guards. Max, Rapunzel cried. I can't find Pascal anywhere. Can you help me find him? I'm afraid something might have happened. Max puffed out his chest. He was on the case. He started to sniff the ground, searching mm -hmm. for the chameleon scent. Flynn and Rapunzel followed Max around all, all around town, but Pascal was nowhere to be found. Finally, as they turned towards the stables, Max caught the chameleon scent. The friends burst through the stable doors, eager to rescue Pascal. But he was first he was fast asleep on the pile of hay. You found him. Great job, Max, Rapunzel said. Say Max, old buddy, Finn, Flynn said. Since we're here in the stables with a nice pile of hay, why don't you say you take a nap? But Max just shook his head. He was too busy to take a break. Rapunzel and Flynn looked at each other disappointed. They had hoped by tricking Max into following them into the stables they could convince him to rest. But it looked like they were going to need another plan. Luckily, Flynn was on the case. A little while later, Flynn and Rapunzel found Max inspecting ships that had just arrived at the harbor. Max, all the apples have been stolen from the orchard, Flynn shouted. Max knew he, ha he had to do something. He couldn't let a thief get away on his watch. He raced toward the apple orchard. His friends were close behind. Together, the team searched the orchard for clues about the missing apples. Soon, Max spotted some footprints. He and his friends followed them back to the palace and to the kitchen, where they were, where they found a piping hot apple pie. The apples hadn't been stolen after all. The chef had used them to make a special treat for the royal family's dinner. Apple pie? I love apple pie, Flynn exclaimed. But it was always making me, <laughs> but it always makes me sleepy. Do you want to bite, Max? But Max just shook his head again. He didn't have time for pie. He was, with the case of the missing apple solved, he had to get back to work. Corona needed him. Ooh. Disappointed, Flynn looked at Rapunzel. He had been sure that his plan was going to work. Maybe he can tire him out enough so that he has to go to sleep, Rapunzel suggested. We just need to make him run around for a while. Suddenly, she had an idea. We have to get to the snuggling duckling, <laughs> Rapunzel told Max. The pub thugs are in trouble. Trouble was the only word Max needed to hear. He motioned for Rapunzel and Flynn to hop on his back, and the three galloped towards the snuggly duckling. <laughs> Max burst into the snuggling duck, snuggly duckling. He scanned the tavern, looking for the troublemakers, but everyone was gathered around the piano, singing and laughing. Max looked at Rapun 
Max looked at Rapunzel and Flynn, confused. No one was in trouble. With a sigh, he turned to leave. Wait, Max, Rapunzel said. We're sorry we lied to you. We were just worried. The truth is, we've been trying all day to make you rest. We were just trying to help, Flynn added. You do need a break, Max, Rapunzel said. Can't you just stay for one song? Max was touched that his friends cared enough to spend the day trying to help him. With a whiny, he agreed. One song couldn't hurt. Rapunzel grinned and whispered something in Hook's hand's ear. He nodded and then began to play a quiet, peaceful lullaby on the piano. As Rapunzel sang along, she noticed Max swaying to the music. Slowly, his eyes began to close. Soon, Max was fast asleep. There she is singing. Looks tired. Flynn put a blanket over Max, and Rapunzel motioned for everyone to quickly leave the snuggly duckling. As the thugs quietly closed the door behind them, Rapunzel gave Flynn a hug. It had taken them all day, but they had finally gotten Max to take a well-deserved break. Aw, the end.